The textbook has plenty of ancillary materials that you can use to also engage your students in this topic and to keep it very, very relevant. Uh, every chapter has a link to a best place to work video. Every year there are organizations that win awards for best places to work. Um, I found links. Most of them, these videos are just five minutes. So five minute summary of a place that won a best place to work award. Every chapter has a business ethics issue video on it. And basically, I went to the PBS website, I looked at all the frontline videos, which is award-winning investigative journalism, and each chapter has one link to a frontline video about some issues such as BP or, or Bernie Madoff or what's going on right now with balancing the budget. Uh, every chapter gives a link to TED Talks. If you're not familiar with TED Talks, you should be. Uh, they're very, very inspiring talks on topical issues. Uh, they're conducted several times a year. They'll have Bill Gates talking about giving money in Africa, or they'll have somebody talking about an electric car. So there's a link for, in terms of th those, those activities. Every chapter also contains a link to a conversation with Charlie Rose. Hopefully you're familiar with Charlie Rose. He's on PBS in Madison. He's on Monday through Friday at 10 o'clock at night. And he sits at a big brown table. And he usually has only one or two guests. And, he'll, and it'll be an issue of the day. So he, today he might have a guest all about whether or not the debt ceiling should be increased or decreased. And it's a conversation. And it's one-on-one -on -one, so you get a real personal feel for the person. And a, a bunch of the... Convers the links I have for Charlie Rose are business executives talking about their companies. Uh, every chapter also comes with CBS videos that are relevant to the topic. And of course, there's a video guide to help you teach about those videos. Um, I wrote an instructor manual. An instructor manual gives you very clear advice on how to engage students and how to present topics in every chapter. Uh, every chapter has a test bank so that you can get your quizzes from and your essay questions from with answers. And the last thing I want to mention is I personally keep a blog, and I've been doing this for a good one or two years, and I update it every day. And you can invite your students to be part of my blog. And it's a very simple blog. I read the New York Times every day online, and basically I find one article in that New York Times that particular day that I think is, from an ethics perspective, is very, very interesting. Uh, Rupert Murdoch is under trouble in, in Great Britain for you know his employees hacking into phones. So there'll be an article on my blog, I'll have one question. If you knew that Rupert Murdoch knew that people were hacking into phones, would you tell the media? Or would you be loyal to Rupert Murdoch? Because he's a nice guy and you've worked with him for the past 20 years. So then you go, the blog then gives you the link to the New York Times article and then you can read the article. So you can use those articles as classroom debates. I use them a lot of times as extra credit assignments. If a student wants to do extra credit assignment, I'd say go to my blog, read one of those activities and tell me what you think, and then present it in class. I'll give you five minutes to present them in class. So there's a lot of fun stuff you can do to really engage the minds of students. And we have them all linked to the textbook.